my fellow YouTube guitarists and amplifier enthusiasts. I wanted to make this quickly because as you can see, I have the um, Spark Cab, uh, which I just got in the other day. And I just hopefully, uh, to kind of help some people make a decision before you buy it, um, a few quick things. I'm not gonna give you a demo, there's plenty of demos on them, but I just wanna point out a few quick things that maybe people don't know that I didn't know. So for example, when I purchased this, I assumed this would work in conjunction with the cab, meaning sound would come out of both of them at the same time. That is not the case. So just something to think or ponder, it may or may not affect your decision. But when you hook in, for example, here I have the Spark 40, when this is hooked into the cab, the speakers are turned off on this and only the sound comes through the cab. You can control the volume, but there's also the volume control that's in the back. Um, so that is something to consider. Now, here's why to me that makes a big difference. I love my little Spark 40, use it all the time. A um, bunch of different amps as well. And I ordered this about six weeks ago. Um, when I play, normally I, I love a lot of low end, I love a lot of bass. Something to consider, this has a massive amount of bass to it. Even for me, too much. Um, it has the 10 inch and the two um, smaller tweeter speakers. Um, I know it's a flat response frequency um, speaker. However, it has a lot of low end. So if you're gonna take your normal presets and plug them into this, you are going to have to turn down the bass. Um, thankfully, you can do that from here, but instead of jumping around and getting that sound that you're used to out of the Spark 40, I found myself having to adjust the sound all the time, especially turning the bass almost all the way down. Um, it really, really did make a big difference. Um, so just for a quick um, example, um, and again, I'm only going through a phone here, um, but the low end on this. Basically, I'm going to go in here, turn the bass all the way down, and now it makes it much more playable. Where if I now change the preset, you're right back to that super, super heavy low end. I got to go back in again, turn the bass down, and that's more the sound I'm used to getting from the Spark 40 without the cabinet. So it, this may not be a deal breaker for a lot of people, but for me, that's my biggest disappointment. Again, you're bypassing the speakers here and you're going directly to the cab. They're not in conjunction because they kept using the word complement, meaning I assumed that these speakers would be working in conjunction, they are not. Again, you're gonna come out of the headphone jack here, it plugs into the back of the cabinet. There is a contour switch on it. I have found to turn it off unless you're playing low volumes because it kicks up the bass um, and the treble. And again, the other thing for me, as much as I love low end with a lot of my stuff, it just has too much low end. Again, you can tweak it, but keep in matter, you know, keep in mind if you're jumping back and forth between presets, I find myself having to come back to the amp all the time and turning the bass literally almost zero because otherwise it just has so much low end, um, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. Um, even through a clear channel, where I gotta come back, bass off. Okay, much better, as opposed to, again, when I go back to that, change the preset. It just has so much of that low end. So again, just some things to consider. Um, if you know, you're know you looking to uh, purchase the Spark Cab, some pros and cons of it, um, but just wanna throw something else out there before you drop the money on it and get it home and you're kinda disappointed or surprised a little bit. Again, I'm not saying not to buy it, but again, just between losing the capability of using this, which I think would have really helped, especially with the high end in here, uh, using these in conjunction, I'm disappointed with. Um, and they got it there. I wish there were more contours on the cabinet itself. 
um, where you could basically change the treble, the mid, and the bass, especially the bass end. So every single time I change presets, I didn't have to come to my amp, my head unit, um, and change that. So thanks for watching. Just want to put it out there, something to consider people looking um, at the Spark cabinet. And uh, that's it, guys. Rock on. Take care.